Come join the Department of Recording Anomaly Witnesses with this Roll20 tutorial for Monstrosity. In this party drawing game for 3-8 to eight people, players will take turns describing an outlandish and unfamiliar creature while the rest of the group does their best to draw it. The goal of the game is to be the person whose drawing most closely matches the witness's description. If you're using Roll20's dynamic lighting feature, available for Plus and Pro users, you'll be able to give all your players private draw space, but I'll go over those directions at the end of the video. This game will have you predominantly utilizing the drawing tools, in particular, the freehand drawing brush, located in the upper left corner of your screen. You can even control the color and size of your brush from this menu, so you can add some variety to your drawings. To get started, assign each player a drawing space. Now pay attention to the number located on the corner of everyone's drawing space. Go over to the witness scorecard and fill out each player's name using the text box from the drawing tools. Next, you'll want to get the timer ready. To use it, be sure to check the Enable Animated Graphics box in the My Settings tab. To start the timer, right-click it and choose Animation Play. Once the timer's set up, pick your first witness and it's time to start playing. When it's your turn to be the witness, draw a card from the deck to your hand. Hover over the anomaly cards and select Deal. Deal one card to yourself. Click the card icon above your player name to open your hand. Then, click the card image to see it full size. Once you're looking at it, start a timer. You'll have 20 seconds to memorize every detail about the creature while the other players wait. When your time is up, click anywhere on the screen to go back to normal view. Next, place your card on the table face down by simply dragging it from your hand to the card area. Then. The witness will have two minutes to begin describing their anomaly as best as they can. No need to reset the timer here. It'll give you a little buffer to put your card face down, and then it'll start the two minute timer. During these two minutes, the other players will attempt to draw the anomaly based on the description the witness gives. The witness may describe the creature however they like, but they can only use words. During this time, the folks drawing can ask as many clarifying questions as they want. Whether it's, how many tails does it have? To, does it have a mouth? And if it does, what do the teeth look like? Feel free to ask away until the timer stops. Once that happens, all our artists need to stop drawing because we're ready to move to the reveal and judging stage. The witness quietly reviews all the drawings and secretly chooses which drawing is closest to what they remember seeing on the anomaly card. They'll then drag an agent token onto their own board with the number of the artist that they've secretly chosen. Don't worry, the token appears face down, so no one knows what they chose. Once the witness has made their choice, it's time for the rest of the group to vote. The witness will right-click the face down anomaly card and choose flip card. Now, the artist can look at each other's drawings, compare it to the anomaly card that was recently flipped, and choose the one they believe to be the closest. To vote for the best drawing, hover over the Agent Token deck and select the Choose option. Drag your chosen token from the pop-up menu directly to the table. These will land face down. Once all your players have their votes down, everyone counts to three and then flips their token to reveal the votes at the same time. After all the votes are made, votes are tallied up and the artist who got the most votes wins one point and marks it on the scoring card. Then the witness reveals who they secretly selected as their own choice to be the best artist. If the witness chose the same drawing as the artist that won the point, the witness now earns one point for being considered a credible witness. Otherwise, the witness's chosen artist wins one point. After that, the round is done and the board is reset. Since we're finished with the anomaly cards and token agents, simply click them and hit the lead on your keyboard. This sends them back to their respective decks. To reset your drawing space, you do the same thing. Select your drawing again, and then hit delete on your keyboard. Now you're ready for the person to the left of the last witness to start up the next round. The game ends after every player has been the witness twice. The person with the most points is the winner. Now, if you're using Roll20's dynamic lighting feature, available to Plus and Pro users, you'll be able to knock your game up a notch and give your players a private space to draw. First, double check that card decks is turned on. In the collection tab, the game master can turn on the anomaly cards and the agent token decks by clicking show 
next to the deck's name. Second, choose the game space. Open the page toolbar and drag the player's bookmark to the desired game board. This sends all players to the chosen playing area. Game spaces containing dynamic lighting at the end of the name are for those wishing to play with dynamic lighting. Third, assign drawing areas. In the hidden drawing areas, Double-click the agent token in the upper left corner of each board and assign control of that token to a player, including yourself. And fourth, rejoin the game as a player. Once all boards are assigned, go to My Settings tab and rejoin as a player. Players will see only their assigned board, plus the main playing area. This way you can't sneak a peek on another artist's masterpiece. And that's how you play Monstrosity on Roll20. So what are you waiting for? Go grab your friends and see who's the best monster artist amongst you.